Hello there. Another video. I uh, picked up two fans in New Jersey. Uh, I wasn't even able to show them my, to my brother, uh, Eric, who might be watching this video. I didn't get a chance to show you these. Because we had to go get Thai food. All right. Um, anyway. Um, so here is, these were, uh, I got these for five bucks out in uh, somewhere near Bridgewater. We're driving the country. Couple of box fans. We have this uh, GE three speed reversible. We'll talk more about that in a second. And this thing, which I just thought was a late Lakewood, which it could be, but if we look at it here, it says Robeson. And it has a different kind of tag. It has a tag on the bottom with a model number, uh, and I'll include that picture here. Okay, so I showed up and the guy was blowing them out with his air compressor. He was a nice guy. Um, these both haven't been used for a while. Um, this one's pretty dirty and dusty and needs to be given the uh, the old uh, the old super cleaning treatment. It's a little wobbly and it's missing some screws and stuff. All that can be dealt with. Kind of interesting. I think this is the last of these fans. One of the things that I think is interesting as far as the styling is there's a circle, a wire circle in the grate. I've only seen one other of these that has that feature. It does not have the rubber um, grate hinges. It's got the, uh, the plug-in style here. I don't know if that indicates that it's an early fan. I think it indicates that it's a later one. This is probably from the later 70s. It's got the handle. Which is nice. And if we come over here, we've got three speed reversible. You know, it's not plugged in just yet. So both switch deals are here. Okay. And here's the back of the GE three speed reversible. Um, looks very clean. Um, it has all of the clips for the wiring here, here, on the side over here, which is interesting. I don't know how common that is to find out with that. And if you can see the bags for the both switch things are all still attached. So to me, this looks uh, pretty factory um, vibe on it. Uh, it's got the feet too. I'll show you that in a second. So as you can see, it's got both feet which is nice but it has no sticker so we don't have any model information on this fan um, which doesn't bother me that much uh, the cord and the grommet the cord is in very nice condition um, and uh, stay tuned we'll run it real quickly for you all right so here she is as found we're in the forward direction, low is first. These go low, medium, high. As you can see, the blades wobble a bit. So there's low, a little too low. Medium. forward direction sorry for the background noise every time I make a video like this somebody's cutting wood or something outside so now we're in the reverse direction and we'll go to low again makes a little more noise on reverse
medium in reverse. That's what it seems to really shake the most. The crate makes a little noise, as does the handle. Here's high in reverse. So there you go. So as you can see, the, the blade sort of, the, from the hub, if you watch the hub, you can see that it, it wobbles a little bit. Um, right to high. Now I've got it on my granite table top thing here, so that could be a part of why it's so noisy. But I don't think so. So if you know any way to straighten the hub out so that the blades run true, so that it doesn't vibrate, um, let me know. I'm thinking heat gun, warm it up, get it where you want it while it's on the shaft, right? Uh, you have to be really careful you didn't melt the plastic, but you want to get it soft enough uh, so that it little moves a little bit so you can get it back to where you want it. As you can see, you can even see where the low spot is. I think what happened, I think these, I've seen a few on YouTube with this issue. Um, and I actually have a, what is it, the, um, the super fan, the blue bladed one, the gray bladed one is a little off balance. And I think what happens is when these sit, this probably sat in that guy's attic garage or whatever for 20 years and they, 20 summers at 100 degrees, well, you know what happens, the plastic melts, it just kind of sags down and then you get a blade that's pretty darn wobbly. So, you know, maybe there's a bigger problem there. Maybe the shaft is bent, but I, don't, I really doubt it. Um, so we're going to start pulling this thing apart. This is going to be our, uh, our first General Electric that we're going to pull all the way down. And uh, it's pretty good, though. It's not that heavy. And it's just dusty. There's literally no rust in the thing. Uh, it's just dusty. So in the process of pulling it apart, we're also going to clean it out. And I think we'll get a pretty good cosmetic finish, but I don't know how good it's going to end up running. Um, so there you go. It's got all the little clips for the cord. Um, there's another one down here. Um, so it's, it's pretty complete anyway. And we're going to see how it uh, eventually ends up running. Thanks for watching.